Hi guys, and welcome back. In today's video, I really want to focus on how to set up one of your new Adobe Connect accounts. Uh, if you've just purchased the actual product, there's a few steps that you need to go through in configuring yourself or another user that you might have purchased the license for before you can really start hosting any meetings or trainings or doing any virtual webinars. Now, what you need to do is, well, first, take a look at my screen. Uh, now, you should have received within an email the login to your server URL, your username, and your password. Now, once you're logged in there, you'll need to go to this administration section at the top. This is primarily what you will be assigned automatically uh, when you first get that license, especially if you were the person that uh, purchased Adobe Connect. Now, once you're in administration, we need to go to users and groups because we need to either assign the license to your, uh, your name or we need to assign it to another user. So we're gonna go through both processes today. Click on users and groups here, and that'll pop open a field with all of the users that exist on your system. Now, if you have just purchased this, you will really only see your name. I myself have a lot of people, so I'm going to go ahead and have to find my name here, but I'm going to go ahead, search for my name. I'm going to go ahead and click on my na name, and once I have my name selected, in the bottom right, I can go to information. Now, information will take me to my user information page, but really where I want to go is this option right here called Edit Group Memberships. Now, when I select that and this page loads up, I'll see that I have some licenses over here, but this is not how it's going to look. When you guys actually set yours up initially and when you click on yours, it's going to look similar to this. Yours will say Administrators, and that's really all you need to access all of the back end portion of Adobe Connect, but we need to add additional licenses. Now, this is really going to depend on what you guys have purchased. If you purchased a meeting license, you'll need to assign a meeting host. If you've purchased a webinar manager, the appropriate amount of uh, seats for that webinar manager, 100, 500, or 1,000, you'll need to associate that with your account. Or if you've done anything with uh, seminar admins or uh, training managers, you'll need to assign the appropriate licenses. So let's actually talk about that right now. Now, what you'll need to do if you are going to be uh, using this as a meeting host is you'll need to assign the meeting host license right here. Just go ahead and select that, click add down here at the bottom, and now you'll be able to access this meetings tab and host meetings with your named host license. Now, we're going to go ahead and remove that, and we'll go ahead and assign the webinar 100 manager. It might give me an error here because I already have one assigned. This is what you're going to want to make sure that you select when you have a uh, webinar 100 seat manager. Um, if you just purchased a regular seminar license, you want to go ahead and click on seminar admin and add that over. Now, once you've done that, that's already added to your account and you're ready to go. You can go to that particular tab associated with that license and you can start building and hosting your meetings. Now, let's say that you purchased this for another user internally to your agency. What you'll need to do there is you'll actually need to come back to this users and groups section. And at the very bottom, you'll see a new user. You can keep yourself as the admin, but when you click on new user, it'll just ask you for information about this user. So I'll go ahead and I'll set myself up with an additional third account here. So I'll just go ahead and give myself um, my third account information. We'll go three and I'll go ahead and type my email up there at the top. Down here at the bottom, you actually can set up a password for this user. So I'm going to go ahead and set mine up. Just make sure that you type the first one, uh, the same one in the top as you do the bottom here. And I really want to point out these options down here at the bottom. When you are setting up a user, you can actually have it automatically email them their information. So you don't actually have to format the email yourself. Adobe Connect will send that email out for you with all of this information to the user you just set up. And you can also have it to where they're prompted to change their password upon first login. This way, if you're setting them up with a generic password, they themselves can create their own password or the password they like to use on the first time that they log into Adobe Connect. Again, these are settings that you guys can put in place if you really need to. Now when we click next down here at the bottom, it will take us to that exact same page that we were looking at earlier, except we went about it a different way. This is now how we assign licenses to a new user. So again, looking at all of the licenses that we have here, we'll want to make sure that we're assigning the right license. So this is going to be my meeting host. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find the meeting host uh, option within here, and I'll add that over. Now again, I can even go in and assign this person, say, maybe an admin license. Um, that's to say I want them to be able to go in and make those changes on the server end of things. If you don't 
really want a user to do that, I highly suggest not giving them admin. Only give admin to the people that you do want to be able to manage the back end like you will be able to do when you first log into Adobe Connect. Now, once we have all of that set up, just click finish down here at the bottom and that user's account is created. They're going to get an email and they'll be able to log in as soon as they get that email and start hosting their own meetings. So again, you can set up Adobe Connect multiple different ways. You can either set it up for yourself or you can set it up for other users, but this is what you need to do initially as a host or an admin logging into Adobe Connect. Guys, stay tuned for more videos that we produce every week. Take care and have a great rest of your week.